For the best prices and service on Pokemon TCG singles and products, check out ccgcastle.com and use promo code EVOLUTIONARIES-5 for 5% off your next order. What's up guys? And here and for this Deck Tech Thursday, I'm going to be performing for you guys my Naganadel Ultra Beast Box. Or Naganadel Box. Or Beast Box. Whichever you want to call it, this deck actually has several names. So pretty much the premise of this deck is revolving all around Ultra Beast, specifically Naganadel GX, being the main focus of the deck here. But some Ultra Beasts here do help as well. And the best part is, guys, we get to use Poiple. It's Poiple. All right, guys, so fun stuff aside, let's get straight to the profile. So we're going to be running four copies of the main man, Poiple himself. He is a 70 HP basic Pokemon. He is an Ultra Beast. So he does count towards Nagandel's damage, and he has two attacks. Spit Poison, your opponent's active Pokemon is not poisoned, and Knockout Reviver, which is a really just cheeky kind of move. Psychic and Colors, during your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon is knocked out by your knocked out. Your opponent can't take any prize cards for it. So a skilled your a skilled opponent is not going to really waste the attack to knock this out. I mean, unless they don't have to use a lot. Like, there's a lot of attacks out there, like, say, um, Dustman and Crossman, for example, that really has to discard energy and knock out, which they're not going to do that just to knock this guy out here and to take no prizes. But during those situations like that, he can act as a shield, too, in case your opponent doesn't want to waste resources to knock it out. So he, he can either buy you a turn, or if they pull the bait, they can't take any prizes for it. So, like I said, it's just a really cheeky move in general. And the main premise of our deck... Three copies of Naganadale GX. Now, this is the new GX card we got for Forbidden Light. A lot of the cards we run here for, are from Forbidden Light. And this guy right here, 210 HP Psychic type Pokemon. He is an Ultra Beast. And he has three three attacks. The main one we're going to be focusing on, though, is Beast Raid. For a single colorless energy, this attack does 20 damage for each of your Ultra Beasts in play. So, it's going to do 20 for him being in the active. And then 20 more for each of your bench. So they can be Poit Bulls and, and any other Ultra Beast you have as well. We are very rarely going to use Jet Needle, which does 110 and his attack damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance. Yeah, you're almost never going to use that move. Same thing with Stinger GX. Three colors energy, both players shuffle their prize cards into their decks, then each player puts the top three cards of their deck face down as their prize cards. So a lot like Knockout Reviver, it's just a really cheeky move in general. Just, just so you can be scratching your head going, whoa, 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 what? And then you just give the biggest, goofiest smile. Especially if you had six prizes and they only had one left. Just use that and just, yeah. Just really have fun with that. So that does it for the Poip Ball and the Ganondel lineup. Now let's take a look at some of our Ultra Beasts. We're going to be running two copies of Dustmane Necrozma. This is going to be our main secondary attacker here. And now this is a card that we have seen in Ultra Prism, and we have seen this card taking the meta a little bit. So 190 HP, it is an Ultra Beast, so it counts towards Beast Rage damage. Claw Slash, three color 60, not something we're going to focus too much on. But Meteor Tempest is going to be the main focus for him being a secondary attacker. 220, three Melanic Colors, and you discard three energy from this Pokemon. Now, we are not running any Madness in this deck, but since we do have Beast Ring, we do have ways to power him up very, very quickly. So, powering him up is not going to be much of an issue. And we have the GX attack Sun's Eclipse for 3 mana energy, does 250 damage. I believe this is the GX attack you would use the most often if you end up using a GX attack, just because it's so powerful. But, situations rise up where you might need to use another GX attack. So we have plenty of options for GX attacks in this deck. So no need to worry about that. And of course, we have one copy of Dawn Wings Necrozma, mainly just for invasion, being able to replace him with your active and then retreat for free with a floatstone. And also, he's just really good in the meta right now. Like, I knew the day would come eventually where Dawn Wings or a Lunala would be good in meta, and I'm so happy that it's now. So that's it. And there's gonna be two more Ultra Beasts that we run here. Gonna be running one copy of Zerkatry GX and one copy of Kartana GX. So the circuitry is mainly just for active to buy ourselves a turn or two. It's because you get to start with this ability flashing head. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon that have any special energy attached to them. Very we're not gonna worry too much about the attacks, even though we can pull them off. Rumbling wires, two lighting and a colorless. 
you just discard the top card of your opponent's deck and Lightning GX, your opponent reveals their end, hand, add a card you find there to their prizes. So it's another really just annoying attack. And next up we have Kartana, which is a metal type, so we don't really have to worry too much about the special energy to power him up. But his ability is Slice Off. When you play this card from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may discard special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. So it's a pretty much essentially a enhanced hammer, but in Ultra Beast form. Gale Blade does 70 damage, and you may shuffle this Pokemon all cards attached to it into your deck. And Blade GX, take a prize card. Probably just the smiliest, cheekiest move you can do. <laughs> when you have one prize card left and they have like an insane field ready to win, just Blade GX for game. <laughs> oh man, that will start wars. And last up for Pokemon here, we just run two copies of Tapu Lele just to help search our supporters and stuff. And with that, that will do it for our Pokemon lineup. And next up, our supporter lineup. Alright, next up here, we have four copies of the main gal, Cynthia. Pretty much one of the best draw supports we have in the game right now. Just being able to shuffle and draw six is just too, too good. Alright. Next up, we have four copies of Professor Sycamore. It's been a while since I ran four copies of Sycamore in any of my decks, but we just really want our consistency just to be boosted with this deck in general. Just because of how much we kind of need to make sure. Because, I mean, you don't need a lot to pull off Naganel's attack alone, but you do need a lot to not only pull off this attack, but to have your attack secondary attacker ready to go. So we want to make sure we set up as consistently as possible. And we have three copies of N, just because it's N. N is just amazing. All right. And last up for our supporters, we run four copies of Guzma. That's it, really. So nothing too special with our supporter lineup here. Just all, just nearly max copies of all the staple supporters that we need. So nothing too cheeky with the supporter lineup. And now for our item lineup. We've got four copies of Ultra Ball here. Very, very stand card. We are not running any mysterious treasure in this deck because we don't have many targets. We only have our Poiples, Lele, and Dawnwings Necrozma. It's more worth it when all of your cards are psychic type. And not to mention, yeah, a good amount of them are psychic, but we do have another way to search it along with all of our other Ultra Beasts without having to discard anything. So that's why it didn't seem too much reason to run Mysterious Treasure in this deck. But if you prefer Mysterious Treasure, then by all means. All right, next up here, we run three copies of Choice Band and three copies of Floodstone. Probably two of the best tool cards we have in this game right now. Free Retreat and doing 30 more damage is just too, too amazing to pass up. Next up here, we have four copies of Beast Ring. Now, this is how we're gonna be powering up our Dusk main Necrozma here quickly. You can play this card only if your opponent has three or four prize cards remaining. Search your deck for up to two basic energy cards and attach them to one of your Ultra Beasts and shuffle your deck. So pretty much you just play a couple of these, power up your Dust Mains, and then they're good to go. Like they are set. And you only really need to attack with a Dust Main a few times because he's not the main focus of your deck. So you set up your Naganadel for the, for the main stuff, but when your opponent pulled up the really big guns, that's when you bring the dust main to take care of business. Take care of business. All right, last up for our items is going to be one copy of Super Rod. Just a recycle back Pokemon basic energy. All right, put this to the side. And for our stadium here, gonna be running four copies of Ultra Space. Now this is how we're gonna be searching off all of our Ultra Beasts. So once during each player's turn, that player may search your deck for an Ultra Beast, reveal it, and add it to their hand. So, I run four of these just to increase the consistency of us getting this card. Because for Naganel specifically, I would prefer this slightly over the Mysterious Treasure because there are still some things that Mysterious Tre Treasure in this deck cannot get. And I don't want to risk just the luck of drawing into it, even though it could happen. I just want max consistency all around for this deck. So that's why four. Because I notice a lot of lists run three. I just prefer four. 
All right, and last but not least, our energy count up. So we have eight copies of basic metal energy, mainly for our dust main and our Nagando because the beast. Wow, what's wrong with me? The beast raid, there we go. I almost said beast bash. I was like, I didn't want to say that though. I didn't want to look stupid. So beast raid here is a single colorless energy. So it doesn't matter what that is. We're also going to be running three copies of unit energy, which provides metal, lightning, and psychic. So not only for our psychic and metal type Pokemon here. So we are able to use Naganadel's second attack if need be. We are able to use Zerkatree's attacks because it counts as lightning as well. So, yeah. Just good coverage all around. Yeah, honestly, it's the, most of the psychic attacks are colorless. I just realized that, so wow. That almost doesn't even need to be a psychic for it to be relevant here. I guess for the psychic Pokemon, we could use it for Dawn Wings Necrozma to help one-shot things weak to psychic, but we already got Gandalf for that. But Dawn Wings is a basic. So there's your ups and downs with that. And I guess we can still use Tapu Cure as well. But I, have, I don't think I've ever seen anyone use Tapu Cure. But who knows, that could end up winning a game. And we run one copy of Beast Energy. It's a colorless energy, and it's also a Prism Rare. But if it's attached to an Ultra Beast, it provides every type of energy. And it, the attacks of your Ultra Beast do 30 more damage. So, uh, Beast Energy with a full bench of Beast Pokemon. No Lele there. That would be 150. And along with a choice band, that's going to be 180 damage for just a single energy. I know that's not always how to go down because you always have to bench at least one Lele. But still, that's still like 160 for just a single energy. That's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. All right, so that's going to do it for my Naganadel deck profile. If you guys liked this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And come back next week for Battle Frontier Friday. We are no longer doing Battle Frontier Fridays the day after my deck profile. We're giving ourselves a week of space for that. So just so you guys are not aware, that is a newish thing that we're doing. So just to give you guys a friendly reminder. So with that, guys, be sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And with that, we'll see you guys later. Have a fantastic day.